So good morning everyone, very warm welcome to you on this Mothering Sunday, it's great to see you uh, wherever you are. Um, here in Axbridge Church there are just two of us, um, is Andy Goddard who is our technical wizard and there's me. Um, normally on Mothering Sunday the church is full to bursting with people, with children from school, from parents and grandparents and um, Lots and lots of baskets of flowers that are distributed. Well, yesterday, um, quite a number were distributed to some of the older people in the area. And um, in Shipham Church too, the place is normally buzzing with activity on Mothering Sunday and lots of flowers. And I think there are some flowers to go out to people um, after the service this morning. Well, this time last year, on Mothering Sunday, it was the first Sunday when everything changed and church buildings were closed and we had to learn to do church differently. And very quickly, we found that online worship was at least an alternative for some people. And so we've been doing um, Zoom services ever since then. Uh, but the good news is that um, two weeks today, on Palm Sunday, the 28th of March, uh, we'll be welcoming people back into church for services. Um, and please look out for all that's going to be happening during Holy Week and then Easter itself and then beyond. But this, this um, Mothering Sunday is wonderful that um, all sorts of people have been involved in putting our service together. And we're extremely grateful both to Andy and Mike, who've been doing some of the technical stuff, and also the schools who've been producing work for us to enjoy and appreciate during the service, and also to our musicians, uh, Bob, who's just been playing, and others who will be playing. Um, today, we continue our worship in the safety of our own homes. You won't need to use your face masks. Um, and you will be able to sing. Uh, one of the things I've most missed during these, this past year has been able, being able to sing. But we can sing at home. And here in our first song today, we sing a, a hymn of great joy. Um, and it asks that God will come into our homes and our lives with his joy, his peace and his love. And to lead us in our singing, we've got Ruby and Guy and Helen playing the piano. Please join in from wherever you are. Give me joy in my heart. Keep me praising. So thank you very much, Ruby and Guy and Helen. And as we do at all our school services, we 
begin our service proper by lighting our candle. And that's what we're going to do now. The candle reminds us of God's presence, his light and his love. We light this candle to remind us that the love of God is like a light in the darkness. Blessed be God forever. We praise you, our God, for all mothers who have loved and laughed and labored as they cared for their children. Blessed be God forever. We praise you, our God, for Jesus, born of a woman and nurtured in her love. And for Mary, a reminder of your patient, waiting love. Blessed be God forever. So together, let's join in this prayer as we say, God, our Father, your Son, Jesus Christ, lived in a family at Nazareth. As we meet together today, help us to learn more about how to love our families and friends as you love us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now we've got some pictures to show you of some work uh, that Mr. Schillerbeer at Axbridge First School has put together, and we're really grateful indeed to him and to all the children who produced work. Um, he hasn't included all of it, but we've got quite a bit um, to be able to show to you now. So Mothering Sunday, Mother's Day at Axbridge First School Academy. And the first pictures of various um, children and their work, Albi, who says, Mummy, you're always there to rub my knee when it's had a scrape. When my tummy rumbles, you put food on my plate. When I'm down, you comfort me with warm and caring hugs. Well done, Albi, wonderful stuff. And Merrin, Mummy takes me for walks, gives me cuddles, puts me into bed, helps me bake a cake. And Iona, which simply says, best mum. I like the next one, which says, I love my mum. She's awesome. Have you got an awesome mum or had an awesome mum? Our next slide, um, B says, my mummy is lovely and she makes me laugh. And Matilda, that lovely card, who wouldn't want a card like that with pictures of hearts all over it? We pray for love uh, in our homes, in our lives. And now we're going to see some children talking about their mums, and we'd like to say a big thank you to them. We hope that you can hear what they've got to say and offer. I love my mummy because she's very kind and she always cooks dinner for us. She looks after Toby, she looks after me. She makes everything nice and she makes the whole world so nice. I love my mummy. I love my mummy so much. Hi Mummy, I wish you had a very good Mother's Day. Love you, bye. Hey Mummy, thank you for fixing my problems. I love you to only moon and back and not what a small forever and ever and always always. Um, um, River, T and Beyond and always always.
really like my mum because she's really kind and caring and does sewing with me whenever I ask. Love you, mummy. Happy Mother's Day! I just want to say Happy Mother's Day to the most amazing, kind, funny, lovely mum in the whole entire world. We play Harry Potter in the evenings before I go to bed, um, me being my Granger and her being every other character. She um, pretends to speak as Cupcake and Rainbow, I build a bears and we do lots of stuff with them which is just amazing and we bake at weekends. Um, my favourite thing we baked is probably triple chocolate cookies, they were delicious. Um, but I just want to say thank you to her for being amazing. She is more than I could possibly put into words and I love her very much. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. I love you, Mummy. Oh, weren't they great? Thank you very much indeed to all those and to these children with their thumbs up saying Happy Mother's Day. If you couldn't hear all of what they had to say, um, she makes the whole world so nice. Always helping us out, telling us off, being there to support us, making sure we are nice people. Happy Mother's Day to the most amazing kind, funny, lovely mum in the whole entire world. And those triple chocolate cookies, delicious. <laughs> there we go. And the next one, some more mums, happy Mother's Day, best mum ever. And I love that, um, happy Mother's Day, <laughs> happy Mother's Day. I hope that you have a a really, really happy Mother's Day. And the final picture just says it all. Um, thanks for everything you do. Happy Mother's Day. And one more. We love you, Mum. I hope that you have opportunity during today to say we love you. Whether it's to your mum, whether it's to your children or grandchildren, somebody that you want to say we love you. And we are glad that you are part of our family. So thank you very much indeed to the children and the teachers of Axbridge School for um, their uh, lovely offerings for us for Mothering Sunday today. We're going to hear now our reading from the Bible, which Wendy is going to read for us. It's a passage from the letter that Paul wrote to the Colossians. And it talks about some of the essential ingredients that all of us need in our homes, whatever sort of homes we live in, whether it's with one person, with five people, whatever. Those essential ingredients of kindness, humility, patience, forgiveness. And it's like putting clothes on at the beginning of a day, putting all these special things. So Wendy is going to read for us now. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts to which indeed you were called in the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father through him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thank you, Wendy. 
some wonderful ideas and qualities that we need to make sure are very much part and at the heart of our homes. Well, we're going to see a few more pieces of work now, and this time from Shipham First School. I'm very um, grateful indeed to Mrs. Dodd for helping to get these together and sending them for us to enjoy this morning. So from Shipham School to my mum, happy Mother's Day. You do so much for me. Lots of love. And they've all been making cards over the last few days. And some of them, um, maybe you've received a card with um, some of these beautiful um, butterflies on, on them. A uh, sign of new transformed lives. Yeah, lovely, aren't they? What about this one? A card with lots of flowers on it to mummy. Happy Mother's Day. Love from Lucy. And who wouldn't want to receive a card like this one? Um, the mother sheep, the ewe, and her little lamb. Um, and here are some of the ones in production on uh, Friday, I think Friday morning, um, which are now safely delivered, I hope, to each of the homes um, that are part of Shipham First School. And there's lots of lovely artwork. For a minute, I thought they were, these daffodils were all kind of photocopied and you just colored them in, but no, they're actually um, drawn individually by the children. And daffodils are so much a sign of spring, of new life, new hope, and of joy as they trumpet their message of love. And some have had a small tub of soil and some seeds, no doubt, which will grow into something. Oh, who, who knows what they will grow into? But anyway, they're a special gift for mummy. So thank you to the children from Shipham School for um, offering uh, their signs of love for their mum today. Now, much as we would like everything to be happy and good in our homes, always to be full of laughter and love, we know, don't we, that there are times when we get annoyed with others, we get irritated by their bad habits, we fall out, we argue, and sometimes we're just plain tired. Well, this next song speaks of reclothing us with calm and peace, a bit like that reading that Wendy read for us, the pieces of clothing that we put on of calm and of peace. And Clara is going to sing for us this lovely hymn, Dear Lord and Father of Mankind, Forgive Our Foolish Ways.
you need a good imagination. That's because it's all about different sorts of smells. And although I've got some smells here in church, and I'm making some smells, it has to be said, um, you can't smell them through the screen. So you have to use your imagination. And the first of the smells that I want us to think about today is this one, which is to do with freshly baked bread. Now this one uh, comes from the farmer's market in Axbridge. Beautiful fresh bread that you can get from the farmer's market. And when I was growing up um, in Western Supermare, uh, I used to walk along the Milton Road and there was a wonderful baker there called Durston's. And if you went past it in the morning, you had this delicious smell of fresh bread coming out of uh, the bakery. Lots of us have been trying out baking and flour has been difficult to get hold of at different times in the year. But I think we've largely got back to normal with that. But baking has become an important ingredient. And um, did you remember some of those things that some of the children said about um, when my tummy rumbles, you put food on my plate. You help me to bake on weekends, triple chocolate cookies, delicious. <laughs> Um, I don't know who does the baking and the cooking in your house. Um, maybe um, more dads are doing baking and cooking than used to. But I guess that for most of us, most of the cooking's done by mum. And we want to say thank you. What other smells remind us of home and mum? Well, how about this one? This is washing liquid or washing powder. Now where there are small children in a home, you can usually hear uh, the washing machine going full belt. Now at both of my daughter's homes, you can always hear um, when they're at home, the washing machine going uh, full pelt. And there's a lovely smell of washing powder or washing uh, liquid. Now, I don't know about your house, but our house is certainly true that there's a deal of magic that goes on. You know the kind of magic that I'm talking about? You take off clothes at the end of the day or when they got dirty and they kind of land where they land or sometimes they land in a washing basket. And the next time you see them, it's also as though a sort of magic happens to them they're all nicely clean and fresh and ironed and ready for us to use again. Wonderful. Is it magic or is it a bit of hard work that goes on behind the scenes? Mm, maybe it is. Now this next smell is, I have to say, not quite so savoury as the others. Um, I don't know if you can see what this is. Um, it's a nappy. Now I wouldn't get as close to this if it were um, a used nappy. This is one that's not yet been used. It's ready for a small grandchild, no doubt, when, the, when they are allowed to come and see us. Um, I have to say again that in our house, that was um, mummy's department when it came to cleaning um, children's backsides. I never worked out why, why it was that dogs were so interested in in bottoms, but there we are, that's one of the mysteries of life. Um, mums help to make us clean and ready for the day. I do have one of mum's socks though, um, and I'm uh, reliably informed that um, ladies and mothers don't sweat, only men do that but they do glow with the hard work that they put in. And so it's no wonder that when it comes to their socks, yes, it does, um, it does honk somewhat at the end of the day. No wonder too, that we want to say thank you to our mums and to our dads too, on a special day, as we say thank you with cards, 
with flowers, with chocolates, and maybe smellies too, to show our ap appreciation. Maybe we even run to buying some perfume for a special occasion. Perfume has always been very expensive and you need lots of money, but you only need a tiny bit of perfume to make a big difference so that if it's dabbed on on the hands or the wrists before going out, you can even smell it in the street. Now there's a story in the Bible about perfume. One day when Jesus was visiting his friend Simon in a village called Bethany, he had a meal with his friends, with Simon and his disciples and others. And during the meal, a woman came into the room. She carried a small white jar of perfume, the kind that was used for the most expensive and extravagant gifts. Coming close to Jesus, she knelt at his feet and then opened the jar of perfume and she began to pour it on his head and on his hair. And instantly the room was filled with the loveliest smell, fragrance. But not everyone was impressed. What a waste, someone said angrily. That money could have been spent on looking after the poor instead. Leave her alone, Jesus said. Can't you see that this woman has done a beautiful thing. She has taken the chance to show that she loves and that she cares. And I appreciate her generosity. Believe me, people will always remember what this lady has done. And for days afterwards, I guess, the smell of that perfume fills that house. And what Jesus said came true. We still do remember what that woman did and her perfume. I wonder if today you can ask yourselves how you can show some love for other people in your house or beyond it. Now, beyond it is quite difficult at the moment, but you can still do it in all sorts of different ways. Maybe just knocking the door and wait or waving through the window. Maybe um, through a telephone call or something else. It's a reminder to us today, not just costly gifts, expensive gifts that count, but loving gifts do. In caring for others, we show just how much people mean to us. I'd like to finish with some words from a very, very lovely old lady called Mother Teresa, who died a few years ago. She said, we can do no great things, only small things with great love. Maybe on this Mothering Sunday, we're reminded to do some small things with great love. Maybe um, as we give our mums our cards, our flowers, maybe a kiss, and most importantly, the words, thank you. So a prayer. Lord Jesus, help us to become more loving and to appreciate the generosity and kindness of those who care for us. Amen. And taking us to our next song, a song which comes from the Iona community in Scotland. The song is by John Bell and Graham Moore, and it has some great words. The words are not very well known, but there's some great words. Take this moment, sign and space. Take my friends around. Here among us, make this place where your love is found. And to lead us in our song, we have Ruby and Guy. 
And now, Pam is going to lead us in some prayers. Let us pray. Loving God, on this special day, thank you for families, for mums and dads, grandparents, godparents, and children everywhere. We pray that your great love will be experienced and shared in every home today. Be with those who are grieving, especially with those whose mothers have died and are still remembered with great affection. We pray for those who are struggling because they have no children and for those who are sad because they are far apart from those they love, especially during the current restrictions. We think of the many families who are separated due to war and famine. And we pray for all refugees who have fled their homelands in recent conflicts and have no home. We ask, Lord, that you would strengthen and equip the aid agencies as they seek to bring compassion and hope to the hungry and homeless, especially in the Yemen, where women are struggling to feed their children. We ask you to bless the work of the various organisations as they reach out to families whose lives are overshadowed by addiction or violence. And may we, your church, be welcoming, having eyes to see and listening ears to hear the needs of all who come seeking you. And we ask all these prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. So as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you, Pam. And so we come to our last song, and the tune is quite well known, I think, but the words aren't. And they remind us to say thank you for all the love that we have in our lives. Love which reflects the God who loves every one of us and wants the very best for us. Clara's going to lead us 
as we sing, O God beyond all praising. And our final prayer of blessing. We pray that God will bless our homes, our mothers, parents, and children, and grandchildren, that he will bless our schools, both teachers and staff and children, our local communities of which we are part, that we may know in each one of them his love, his joy, and his peace. And so may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, rest upon you and those for whom you pray, this day and always. Amen. So thank you all for joining us this morning for our Mothering Sunday service. In a moment, I'm going to ask you if you can switch your um, cameras back on and unmute yourselves. Um, but before we do so, um, I'd like to say a huge thank you to all those who've helped to put our service together. I know it hasn't run entirely seamlessly, but it has run um, really well, I hope, and you've been able to enjoy it. And because of that, we say thank you to Mike and Andy, our musicians and everybody who's taken part, and particularly our local schools. So thank you, and we hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you again soon. So if you'd like to um, go on to gallery view, um, and um, as we leave today, Mike has chosen a lovely piece of Christian rock music to end our service from a band from Northern Ireland called Rend Collective and it's a piece called Build Your Kingdom Here but before we hear that we're going to greet one another with waves and smiles and kisses and 
a virtual <laughs> hug, I hope. So let's let's have yeah. some. Uh, thank you very much. For thank you all very much thank indeed you. for joining. Thank us. you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye